what's up guys how y'all doing today well baby if you are ariana grande you have lost your mind and not because you left your husband to be mistress and then upgraded to home wrecker for your new boyfriend that looks like the live action version of trolls mixed with garbage patch kids i'm just saying he might be talented but he is not classically what we would think Ariana Grande would be with. If you guys don't know, Ariana Grande is under heat right now because she's receiving backlash from not the woman's home she home wrecked, not from her ex-husband, not from licking donuts. Remember when she got in trouble for licking donuts? I think she's a little mentally unbalanced, right? She is now facing backlash after saying she told a fan her dream dinner date was with Jeffrey Dahmer. Now, let me just say this, right? Ariana DeGrande was a child star. She was one of Dan Snyder's prodigies. Um, she was th up and down. I don't know what's going on. Is it reminiscent of some sort of personality disorder? Perhaps even the way she's starting to go in and out of speaking in fake accents, fake things, even how now she's completely adopted the persona of the good witch glinda and the new light action and wicked even speaking in a different voice again maybe it's clever marketing but this mess with jeffrey dahmer ariana we looked the other way that you were a home wrecking hussy you did it with big sean and janai uh uh you did it with uh this other girl the guy that looked like a looks like a uh uh i don't know a troll kid you did it with so many people and we looked the other way because she does have bops. And I said, okay, she's a home wrecker. I'm not going to be going to see her con uh, concert, but if it's on the radio, we can't be friends. But I said, I draw the line. I draw the MF and line that you are now saying you want to go on a dinner with Jeffrey Dahmer. The family has also uh, lashed out and said, the victim's families have lashed out and said that she's sick in her mind. Again, I don't know what Ariana Grande is. I think she's doing her best to try to get canceled, but it's true. The Jeffrey Dahmer situation, people actually not only were killed, it was racism, it was sociopathism, it was, of course, uh, murking, and it was cannibalism. It was so many things. It was white male entitlement. If you don't remember, one of the victims actually escaped, but because um he was an immigrant they actually even though he was fighting crying bought him back to jeffrey dahmer's house yeah exactly ariana grande is sick in her mind now anyway uh they're saying ariana grande's shocking new revelation has got fans thinking she's out of her wicked flipping mind um so hollywood unlike previously covered the singer calls a stir when she revealed that she once expressed interest in having a sit down dinner with the late uh, serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer. This relevation has not been well received by online users and even the family of Tony Hughes, one of Dahmer's uh, victims. If you guys don't know what she said, I'll play it for you. Um, hold on, let me turn my volume up one second. Before the Dahmer series, before the, it was, it was in a Q and A with fans, with young fans. It was young fans at the time. It was like, I think it was like in between. Was like me being cat and pop stuff. So it was like okay. a younger group. Okay. But it was with a parent. Someone said, if you could have dinner with anyone living or dead, who, who would it be? And I was like, oh, you're so cute. Who, um, mom and dad, is it okay if I give the real answer? <laughs> and they were like, sure, I guess. What, what's the answer? And I was like, um, I mean, Jeffrey Dahmer's pretty fascinating. I think I would have loved to have met him. Wow. <laughs> like, you know, maybe with a third party or something. Yeah. But I, I have questions. I want to, I have a lot to, I, I don't know. I would love to. And the parents were like, we'll, we'll explain it later, sweetheart. And I was like, so wait, so I'll just sing problem in Mexico before the Dahmer series, before the. Okay, so this was from uh, Pod Crush, if you want to go see the whole interview. but. What is wrong with Ariana Grande? First of all, why are you answering that in a bunch of little kids and stop acting like most of your audience is not little kids or younger people? Because she plays that whole, even her whole stage has always been like Lolita, but sexy. I look like I'm 12, but I'm grown. It's weird. But also to the point of what would be so fascinating about him? Like Ariana Grande is sick in the head and she's dead serious anyway. And an emotional response 
Tony's mother, Shirley, spoke with TMZ and expressed her disappointment and hurt, hoping that Ariana understands the impact of her comments. Shirley, who still grapples with the pain of raising her son, uh, I'm sorry, of losing her son, sorry, uh, losing her son to Dahmer's heinous acts in 1991, was disturbed by Ariana's casual laughter during the podcast while discussing her fascination with that man. To me, it seems like she's sick in her mind. It's not fancy or funny to say something, to say that you will want that you wanted to do dinner with them. It's also not something you should say to young people, which she says she did. Y'all, listen, let me just say this. And I'll say it once and I'll say it twice. Ariana Grande is sick in her head, but because she has talent, it's going to let it fly. I see the music industry actually likes keeping people who are sick in their head uh, to do things. I, this is my opinion, because I feel like if people were well adjusted, they wouldn't stand for the BS that goes on in the industry. So they get people that are sick in their heads to co-sign. So when they do their sick stuff, you know, Diddy's having his freak offs, Ariana Grande is like, you know, imagining what she wore on a dinner date with Jeffrey Dahmer. They're all into very, very sick things. And I feel like if you're a normal person and you try to go in there, it just wouldn't work. I mean, honestly, what do y'all think about this? Because I don't, I'm not, I'm not feeling this at all. Like even it's just so disrespectful, but Ariana Grande is a very disrespectful person. Listen, they said, now mind you, if you don't know the whole full thing of, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, he murked and dis and dismembered and chow chowed 17 men over a 13 year period. And they said that was her dream dinner guest. Like she's crazy. It, yeah. She said, she says that, um, she said Shirley wants a singer and the general public to know that she and other victims, families experience real pain. Anytime Dahmer is bought up. Okay. She says that it's, she finds it troubling that Ari didn't see in the show any empathy for the victim's loved ones. Uh, Tony's sister, Barbara, shares a similar sentiment, saying that the comments glamorized that psychopath who, who was beaten to death in prison in 1994. Good. She loved to see Ariana apologize so her fans know this isn't right. Now, the reality is Ariana's hardly the only person plugging into true crime stories like drama. The drama is a huge moneymaker for TV, music, streaming services, and book publishers. In fact, Tony's family was just as outraged when the Netflix series Dahmer Monster came out. Creator Ryan Murphy, oh, of course, of course, Ryan Murphy did some trash TV like that. And also, why is TMZ always defending the, like a celebrity? I mean, everybody was in love with Dahmer. Who? And what they got to do with Ariana Grande? Anyway, Ryan Murphy defended his project at the time, saying they did a lot of research and reached out to 20 victims, families, and friends, but never got a response. She summed up her response to Ariana saying, unfortunately, until it happens to her and her family, she does, just doesn't know what we have been through. Listen, at the end of the day, Ryan Murphy is trash for going ahead with that when nobody in the family went to participate. Ariana Grande is trash, but I'm really starting to look at her like that girl. There's something wrong with Ariana. There's something off. Even when she was super, super skinny on live, just remember to be kind. You don't know what a person's going through. When at the end of the day, she was starving herself skinny because she wanted to look like the good witch Glinda and she's still there. Ariana, shut your mouth. And the whole time she was saying, please be kind, you were literally breaking up a woman's house that had a nine month year old. Y'all listen, let me know what you think of the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.